page 110. Adonai Ahavti Meon Beitecha Umekom Mishkan Kevodecha Mishkan Kevodecha Vani Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Take a breath. You made it. <laughs> There's so many ways we can greet each other in these holy days. Shana Tova Umetuka. May it be a sweet year. Shana Tova Tekatevu Vetechatemu. May we be inscribed and sealed for a good year. Good Yantif. So many greetings. But I'm thinking about the fact that this morning we are told is Yom Harat Olam. Not only the birthday of the world, but this is the moment the world was conceived. So close your eyes for a minute. You know me, I'm into that spiritually stuff. Just for a sec. And know that today is the day we are commanded to see ourselves the world and everything around us as new. Open your eyes. 
It's all fresh. We're starting again. Take this moment to say Shana Tova or whatever variation of that to the people around you. <laughs> As Mayor likes to say, you're all looking great. And I'm not lying. It's not just my eyesight getting worse. So just letting you know where the other clergy are, as always, we've got, it's a three-ring, beautiful circus. Uh, Mayor is with our tots and their families in the library. And Rabbi Mobaum is upstairs in the Rudin Chapel for our, for our family service. And they'll be joining us soon. But we're meeting everyone where they are at this morning. And in a minute, I'll be inviting you, know, you to rise. Jewish calisthenics, we're, we're rising and sitting. And, but just to say from the start that if rising is hard for you, that that is part of, we're all coming to this moment from, from different abilities, different strengths, and that you should do whatever feels comfortable and right for you in this service. And that may be rising spiritually. But if you're able to stand up, let's do so. Baruch Hu is on page 142. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? towards the bottom. In love you bring light to the earth and its creatures. Your goodness renews the creation each day. Infinite, varied, and rich are your works, divine artists together. Of all of them wrought with wisdom, the whole earth is teeming with life, awestruck by the universe, work of your hands. Let all life bless you, praise you, and celebrate the beauty of your lights. Or hadash al tzion ta'ir v'niskechu lanu me'ara le'oro Baruch ha'tadonai yotzer ha'me'orot 147 Let's Let's offer this one responsively. I'll begin. I am the blossom pressed in a book, found again after 200 years. I'm the maker, the lover, and the keeper. When the young girl who starves sits down to a table, she will sit beside me. I am food on the prisoner's plate. I am the water rushing into the wellhead, filling the pitcher until it spills. I am the dry and weedy garden. I am the stone step, the latch, the working hinge. I am there in the basket of fruit presented to the widow. I am the musk rose opening unattended, the fern on the boggy summit. I am the one whose love overcomes you, already with you, when you think to call my name. All life springs from a single fountainhead, 
Listen, Israel, know the oneness at the heart of multiplicity. With love and reverence, bear witness to Makor Chaim, 148. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours together. For you are a God of miracles and wonders from all the peoples of the earth. You sought us out and brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher Ba'amo Yisrael Be'ahava. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Be seated, 152. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha u'bechol nafshecha u'bechol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele. Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom alvavecha Vishinantam levanecha Vidibarta ba'am Vishiftecha b'veitecha Uvlechtecha v'aderech Ufshokbecha ufkumecha Uksartam leot al yadecha Vehayu letotafot v'nei necha Uchtavtam al mezuzot v'etecha Uvisharecha Leman tizkeru v'asitem et kol mitzvotai V'hitem kidoshim l'eloichem Ani Adonai Eloichem Asher hotzehiti etchem Meyeretz Mitzrayim Lihiyot lahem l'Elohim Ani Adonai Eloichem Adonai Eloichem Emet 159, reading the words of Rabbi Arnold Wolf, spanning the generations from Rudin to Davidson. I try to walk the road of Judaism. Embedded in that road are many jewels. One is marked Sabbath, and one civil rights, and one kashrut, and one honor your parents, and one study of Torah, and one you shall be holy. There are at least 613 of them, and they are of different shapes and sizes and weights. Please join me. Some are light and easy for me to pick up, 
and I pick them up. Some are too deeply embedded for me, so far at least, though I get a little stronger by trying to extricate the jewels as I walk the street. Some perhaps I shall never be able to pick up. I believe that God expects me to keep on walking Judaism street and to carry away whatever I can of its commandments. I do not believe that God expects of me, but I cannot nor may I condemn my fellow Jew who may not be able to pick up even as much as I can. Micha Mocha is on page 164. Micha Mocha ba'elim Adonai Micha Mocha nedar ba'kodesh Israel, Kuma Bezrat Israel, Ufedechin Mecha Yehuda, Israel, Go Aleinu Adonai Tzvaot Shemo Kedoshi. Israel, Baruch Ata Adonai, Gal Israel. We turn to page 166 and rise if we are able. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agite hilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora El Elyon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekonei Hakol Vezocher Chazdei Avot Veimahot Umevi Geula Livnei Vnei Hem Lema'an Shemo Be'ahava Zochreinu lechaim Melech hafetz bachaim Ve'otreinu v'sefer chaim Lemanecha Elohim chaim Zochreinu Oh, 
ger och moshia och magen baruch att ha donai magen Abraham vezrat zara att ha givor leholam adonai mehayei hakol atta rav lehoshi amorit hatal mehalkel chayim bechesed mehayei hakol berachamim rabim החיות הכל ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי הכל A teaching by Rabbi Alan Liu from his book on this high holiday season, which is entitled, This is Real and You Are Completely Unprepared. It's not only a clergy thing. Here's the teaching. Every year before the Days of Awe, the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidic Judaism, held a competition to see who would blow the shofar for him on Rosh Hashanah. Now, if you wanted to blow the shofar for the Baal Shem Tov, not only did you have to blow the shofar like a virtuoso, but you also had to learn an elaborate system of kavanot, secret prayers, intentions, that you were to bring into your mind and your soul just before that you blasted the shofar to direct those calls in the right way. All the prospective shofar blowers practiced these kavanot for months. They were difficult and complex. And there was one fellow who was so eager, he had been practicing these secret intentions and prayers for years. But when it came time for his interview, he realized that nothing that he had done has prepared him for this moment. Nothing had prepared him for standing before the Baal Shem Tov. He forgot everything. And he just stood there in utter silence, not even raising the shofar to his mouth. And then when he realized how egregiously he had failed, he began to weep. His heart just broke. All right, said the Baal Shem Tov, you're hired. See, the rabbi then taught this man, we're trying to get into the palace. We're trying to stand before God. And we do these mitzvot like blowing the shofar. They are the gateways. And those kavanot, our prayers, our intentions, they are the secret keys. But the acts, 
that breaks down every door is the heart that shattered and broken open. And so that is the whole point of the Unatana Tokaf prayer that we are about to utter. Its words are difficult. They are hard. They are harsh. But the point of them is to be a wake-up call that breaks open our heart so that we can truly see our fragility, we can truly see what matters, and then choose to enter this year as our best selves. We turn to page 174. In the middle. Let us proclaim the power of this day, a day, a day whose, whose holiness, holiness awakens, awakens deepest awe. awe. Join us and, and inspires, inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love. Your reign is a reign of truth. truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor, counselor and, and witness. witness. You, you inscribe and seal. You record and recount. You remember, you remember all, all that we have, have forgotten. And when, and when you, open you open the book of memories, it speaks, speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like no other. 176, joining me. And so a great shofar will call. Tikia, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you like sheep before their shepherd. As a shepherd considers the flock, when it passes beneath the staff, you count and consider every life. You set the bounds. You decide destiny. You inscribe judgment. 178. On Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Verosh Who 
by war, and who who by by beast, beast, who who by famine, and and who who by drought, who who by earthquake, and who who by by plague, plague, who who by strangling, and and who who by by stoning. tranquil and who who will be troubled, troubled, who who will be calm and and who tormented, tormented, who who will live in in poverty and and who in prosperity, who who will be humbled and and who who exalted. But through return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. Continuing on 184, we rise as we are able. Echad 
vino, o malcaino, o mocheino, verroias mi reino, verrachamab, leine colohar. לדור ודור נגיד גוד לך ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש ושפחה האלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד כי אל מלך גדול וקדוש אתה Give the righteous the gift of a vision bright with joy, a world where evil has no voice and the rule of malevolence fades like wisps of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. 192. In the middle. קדוש אתה ונורא שמך ואין אלוה מבלעדך ככתוב ויקבע אדוני צבאות במשפט והאל הקדוש נקדש בצדקה ברוך אתה אדוני המלך הקדוש. אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו יעלה ויבוא ויגיע ויראה וירצה. In the middle. Page 196. In the middle of the page. Our God and God of the generations before us. May the memory, memory of us ascend, ascend and, and come, come before, before you. you. May it May be heard, heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace, on this day of remembrance. Just below, going back and forth from the Hebrew to the English. Zochreinu Adonai Eloheinu Bo Litova. Eternal our God, remember us. Befokdenu Bo Livracha. Be mindful of us and redeem us. Behoshienu Bo Lechaim. For a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. You may be seated for a few minutes. <laughs> In a few moments, we will begin our first of three shofar sections of the service. The opening section is called Malchuyot, which translates to kingship. We will mark it with the singing of the prayer known as the Great Aleinu, followed by the shofar blessings and then the first shofar calls. Rabbi Jonathan Prosnett teaches that each blast of the shofar triggers awe and surprise, a different story, historical association or emotion, from the binding of Isaac in our Torah portion to the Torah reading to the 1967 liberation of, old, of the old city in Jerusalem, from a cry of anguish to a song of delight. What is the shofar telling us? What is it saying to us? Its language is powerful precisely because it is nonverbal. Rabbi Arthur Green writes, the sounding of the shofar is considered an act of great mystery. 
The wordless but wailing shofar sounds are taken to be a higher or deeper expression of our outcry than words can express. While the liturgy of Rosh Hashanah is perhaps the most eloquent and poetic of the year, the raw emotion of the season is so elemental and primitive that it is better expressed by these unrefined cries of the horn than by the words of great poets. The Dubna Mag Magi shares this tale, and I share this tale a lot, so if you've heard me share this before, I'm gonna keep sharing it again. <laughs> a poor farmer had a wealthy uncle who lived in a big city and who invited him for a visit. Happy with the invitation, the farmer wasted no time accepting the invite to his rich uncle's house. When he arrived, he was greeted warmly and led immediately into a large dining hall with a long table. As they spoke and shared stories about family, the uncle picked up a brass ring, brass bell, and rang it. Immediately, a troop of servants emerged from the side doors with trays of appetizers. The farmer had never seen such enticing food in his life. This was just the appetizers. The servants returned to the kitchen quarters, and the two relatives continued their conversation. A little later, the uncle rang the bell once again, and the servants reappeared, taking away the old trays and bringing the new ones with the first course. The farmer's eyes bulged. He had never seen such large quantities of food and such dedicated service. The pattern continued through this evening. Each time the uncle rang the bell, an entourage of servants answered his call, removing the old food and replacing it with the new. And with each call of the bell, the poor farmer was more surprised. When it was time to leave, the farmer thanked his uncle and rushed to make a stop at a local store before going home. When he arrived, he woke up his wife and excitedly told her, you will never believe what I did. What, she asked. I spent our last penny, he said. You what? Don't worry, he said. I spent it on something you will thank me a million times for buying. Here, look. And he took out of his pouch a brass bell just like his uncle's. This, the farmer said, is a magic bell. His wife looked at him as if he was crazy. Undaunted, the man said, you'll see. All I have to do is ring it, and immediately servants will come and serve us the most exquisite food, which we can eat until our heart's content. Of course, the servants didn't appear. The bell possessed no magic. It only worked when used as a signal to servants already waiting in the, court, in the uh, wings. I am reminding of the story when I think of the shofar that has sounded many times in Rosh Hashanah. Some people think like the farmer, the sound of the shofar will do everything for them. They think that they may continue to go about their business, there being no need to change their way of life and daily conduct. The shofar sounded in the synagogue will surely bring them a happy new year. But like the bell in the story, the shofar is but the sound of a summons. It has a message. Wake up. Think about your ways. Return to God. Return to yourselves. Perhaps this is why immediately after the shofar is sounded, we exclaim, happy are the people who understand the meaning of the sound of the shofar. They walk in your light, O God. And so I invite you this morning as we listen to the majestic sound of the great Alenu and of the shofar following it to meditate about your response to the shofar's call. How will your soul be awakened this year? We rise and turn to page 202. Shabbat La Adon Hakol La Teid Gedola Leotzer Vereshit 
Cello asanu ki goyei haaratsot Velo sama We're able, we remain standing, 205 in the middle. <clears throat> Dwell on each sound of the shofar, contemplate its meaning. Sikia, one whole note. Shivarim, thrua, three broken notes. Nine staccato notes. Sikia, one whole note. Join with me. My return to the right path has the power to make me whole again. Tikia, once I was whole. Shvarim thrua, in the wear and tear of living, I became broken and shattered. Tikia, my tshuva has the power to make me whole again. 206. Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvosav Vitzivanu Lishmoa Kol Shofar Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Shehechayanu Bekiyamanu Vehigiyanu Lazaman Hazel Harashet zifatenu yarav lefanecha el ram benisa. Harashet zifatenu yarav lefanecha el ram benisa. Mevinu ma 
page 214 for the priestly blessing. Our people's oldest blessing, which we offer to you together. It's such an amazing thing to look out and see your faces. It's a powerful thing to stand here as individuals with the narrative of our, of our lives of this year past but to be standing here in community. And so if you want to connect with someone standing next to you with a hand or an arm or not, don't worry, whatever you feel. But, but this is a moment just to, to feel the weightiness of what it means to be here together, to know that we're, we're asking for blessings for ourselves, for the blessings of those standing near us, strangers and loved ones alike. Yivarech Adonai v'yishmerecha. May God bless you and keep you. Yaher Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha. There's a great light shining down from above. That's the light of kindness and tenderness, the light of compassion and curiosity, the light of passion and the demand to make the world a better place. <laughs> be granted the utmost blessing, the deepest blessing, the blessing of wholeness, the blessing of peace. Amen. Amen. Page 216, Sefer Besefer Chaim, Besefer Chaim, Berakha v'shalom, u'farnas v'atova, Besefer Chaim, Besefer Baruch 
Hat Adonai Oseh HaShalom. Amen. 2.23. We need all of our ark openers, our Torah holders. Come on up. Don't be shy. The rest of them, too. Come on, everybody. Everyone together, Torah holders, ark openers, we're all going to be up here in front of the open ark. Page 223. If you think that we're in Great Neck, you're wrong. We're right now on the top of Mount Sinai. I'm not kidding. That's where we are. We're not in Great Neck. Avinu Malkenu Shema Kolenu. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, Chamol Aleinu, Va'al Olaleinu, V'tapenu, the English. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our families. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Dever, V'cherev, V'ra'av, Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkenu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Kol Tsar, Umastin, Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkenu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, Kotvenu Besefer Chayim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu, into our names in the Book of Lives, well lived. Avinu Malkenu, Chadesh Aleinu, Shana Tova Tova. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, Chonenu Va'anenu, Ki Ein Vanu Maasim, Ase Imanu Tzaka Vachesed Vehoshienu. Avinu Malkenu. Almighty and merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu Malkeinu Shema Koleinu Avinu Malkeinu Chatanu lefanecha, avinu malkeinu, hamol aleinu, ve'alol aleinu, ve'tapeinu.
227. In Kamocha, by Elohim, Adonai. Malachut, Malachut, Kololamim, Umem Shaltecha, Beholdor, Vador. Adonai oz lamo yitain, Adonai yivarech et amo vashalom. Top of 228. How do we know that we're actually at the top of Mount Sinai? Because we're about to sing the 13 attributes of God. No, no, no. Ron, Ron, Ron. Slow down. You're not, it's not yet. It's all right. It's all right. Ron is very excited. We're all very excited. Just stay where you are. You're fine. It's our lack of direction. That's right. I mean, I'm taking this moment because the whole year could be on this moment. We're about to sing the 13 attributes of being forgiving, of digging deep inside ourselves to find a place of compassion and kindness and tenderness. It's so hard to do. 
I have no idea why I feel the emotion I feel at this moment. I have no idea. So we're going to sing these 13 attributes three times on the top of 228. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vechanun, Erech Apayim, Verab Chesed Ve'emet, Notzer Chesed Lalafim, Notze Avon Vafesha Vechata, Venake number two Adonai Adonai El Rachum Vechanun Erech Apayim Verav Chesed Ve'emet Notzer Chesed Lalafim no se avon va pesha vechata venake last time everyone Adonai Adonai el rachum vechanun erech apayim verav chesed ve. Notzer chesed lalafim, no se avon va pesha vechata Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonai Kadosh v'nora shemo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh v'nora shemo Gadol Adonai Itiyun Ramema Shemo Yachadav Lecha Adonai Hagedula Vehagevura Vehatiferet Vehanetzach Vehahod Kihol Bashamayim Uvaretz Kihol Bashamayim Uvaretz Lecha Adonai Shlosha Devarim Al Shlosha Shlosha Devarim Haolam Haolam Omed Al Shlosha Devarim Al Shlosha Devarim Al Shlosha Shlosha Devarim Haolam Haolam Al Hatora, the Al Havada, the Al Gimilut Hasadim, Al Hatora, the Al Havada, the Al Gimilut Hasadim, Lo Yisa Goy El Goy Kerev, Lo Yil Medu Admil Hama. No yisa goy el goy cherev, no yilmedu od milchama. No yisa.
How do we know when we can sit? How do we know when we can sit? Pop quiz number one. Question number one. When the ark, ark closes, we, we can sit. And when the Torah sits. Okay, so um, there's a lot of great stuff happening up here. But also, I hope that uh, you, you, there'll be folks who gather around the two Torah tables, one in the Oneg room and one in the uh, social hall. If, if, certainly, if you've never had a chance to be close to a Torah, then be close to Randy and Carrie at Canton Mel and uh, John and Linda and Don, if I'm correct. Okay. Anyway, first I want to call up the Torah chanters. 
Josh Oaken, and Re Rebecca and Sophia Watman. We're going to call you up first, and then after the, uh, as we get to the next one, we'll call the next two. So Josh and Rebecca and Sophia, <clears throat> come on up. And Tara's going to call the, the honor, the uh, first aliyah. So just a word uh, about our Torah reading this morning. If you want to follow along, you can do so on page 238. There's a, a lot in the Parsha about, what am I holding up? A pomegranate, right? It's part of the decor of the, on the table, on the, on the card. We have apples and we have pomegranates because the pomegranate is symbolizing lots of stuff. One thing we're going to hear a lot about fertility uh, and more in, in my sermon later. But also, how many seeds does this thing have in it? Oh, you were all in Judy Rosenzweig's fourth grade class when they opened them up. 613, a lot going on with fer fertility and all that it symbolizes, abundance in our lives. For the honor of the first Aliyah, it is my joy to call up our masterminds, facilitators, those leading our men's groups. Come on up. Mickey, Fahair, Stephen Kleinberg, Kirk Lenga, Stan Levine, it's your... Justin. Let's go. <laughs> Kirk Lenga, Stan Levine, Justin Miro, Maurice Policar, Navid, if he's here, uh, Pormati, Len Schiff, and Craig Smith. You don't have to run. I just want to see your faces. <laughs> These guys have uh, stepped up in a really beautiful way to help to facilitate some, men, some men's groups that we've uh, launched in the last six months, and you'll be hearing a lot more about it. And if you're really curious, then please reach out to any of them or me. For your sake, I'm not going to take the time to hug every one of them, even though it really pains me not to. Ya'am du la aliyari shona. Amen, Badonai, Pagad et Sarah, Kasher, Amar, Vaya, Sadonai, the Sarah, Kasher, Tiber, the Tahar, Vatelet Sarah, Lavraham, Fain, Lisa Kunav, Lamo Ed, Asher Diber Oto, Elohim. Avraham et Shem Beno Hanolad Lo Ashayoda Lo Sarah Yitzchak Avraham et Yitzchak Beno Bain Shemana Yamim Kasher Sivauto Elohim the Avraham be meat shana be hivaled lo et yitak beno ve tomer sara zihok asa li elohim kol hashomea yitak li. Amen. You sound so good. <laughs> and for the second Aliyah, calling up John Hirsch Lyman and Jane Cohen. Ya Amdu, La Aliyah Shnia.
Rebecca and Sophia come forward. And if I can ask Jen and Adam Schiff to come up, they're on deck, as it were, as Torah chanters. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bakavanu Mikol Hamim. Vanatan Lanu et Torah. Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Bat Omer, me Nilel Abraham, a Mikavani him Sara, he allotted to vein his Kunaha, be Gadal Hayeled by Yigamal, Baa Sabraham, Mishte Gadoho, the Yom Higamel at Yitzhak, Vetera Sara at Benhagar Hamitrit. Asher Haga Labraha Metzachik Batomer Labraha Garesh Hamahazo Viet Bana Ki Ki Kilo Yirash Ben Hamahazo Tim Beni Himitrak Faye Radavar, Meho be me Abraham, Hal Odot Beno, Vayomer Elohim, El Abraham, Alira be a necha, Hana Harvi Alamatecha, Kol Hasher Tomar Elecha, Sarah Hashama Bikola. Ki ve Yitzhak, Ikare lecha, Zara. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher natalanu Torah timet, Olam nebithokeinu, Baruch ata Adonai, Notein ha'torah. Amen. Amen. I'm calling up our next tour readers. Jen and Adam are here. Where are you? Chefs, Jen and Adam, where are you? Oh, you're right awesome. there. Okay. From the choir loft to the Torah scroll, oh, right. not bad. And, and have and can have the Ziegler silvers on deck back here, wherever you are. Oh, there you are. Awesome. Okay. And for the third Aliyah, calling up. Rene and Bruce Boyer. Ya amdu laliash lishit. Another good one. Okay. Baruch et Adonai ham baruch. Baruch Adonai ham baruch leolam ba'et. Baruch Ator Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Bacha Bon, Asha, Asha Bacha Bonu Mikol Hoamim, Benatan Lonu Et Torato, Baruch Ator Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Vagam et ben ha'ama legoi asimenu ki zarahu layash peim avraham baboker laikach lechem vachemat ma'im vaiten agar samar shichma. Vaetayeled vayishalacheha, vatelech vateta bamidbar, vaer shava, vaiklu hamayim mim hachemet, vate shalech etayeled tahat achad hasichim, vatelech vate shevla mineged harakeh. Imataka vetashet ki amara el ereb 
Amen. And for the next Aliyah, calling up the leaders of Club Chai, Anne and Ellen. Ya Amdu. La Aliyah Revi'it Baruch Atah Baruch Atah Baruch Baruch atai hamrai lam ba'et Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher bachar banu mikol hamim Benatan lanu et torato Baruch atah Adonai Noten ha-torah Amen Amen Vayifkach Elohim et eneha vatera ba'er mayim vatera vatemale et ha chemet mayim vatash et ha naar. Vayahi Elohim et ha naar. Vayigdal, Vayeshev, Bamidbar, Vayahi, Rove Kashat, Vayeshev, Bamidbar, Paran, Vatikachlo, Imo, Isha, Me Eretz Mitzrayim. Vayahi ba'et hahi vayomer avi mele upi ko sar sevao el Avraham lemor Elohim imha bechol asher ata ose. Vata hi shavali velohim hanor im tishkorli ulunini ulunekadecho kachesed asher ishta imcha tase amida versim horets asher bochartobaha vayomer avraham Vanochi Ishavea. Baruch Adonai, Elo 
Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu et toorato, v'chaye malon nata b'tochenu, baruch ata Adonai, noten ha'torah. Amen. From being confirmed on this bima to... Yeah. Offering high holiday yeah, blessings. Tracy, Pretty amazing. Also, Ivani and Josh. Okay, on the other bima. <laughs> and Tracy and Ivani and Josh. Tracy, where are you? Up there. Okay. And for the honor of the fifth aliyah, our heads of chesed and helping doing so much caring, Debbie Bernstein and Randy Weiler, who led our religious school leadership for so many years. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Benatan Lanu Et Toato Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. V'yochiach Avraham et Avimelech al odot be'er ha-mayim asher gazlu avde Avimelech v'yomer Avimelech lo yadati mi asa Et hadavar haze, vegamata lo hi gadatali, vegam anoki lo shamati bilti hayom, vaika kavraham zon uvakar, vaitain la avimelech, be kritush nehem brit. Vayatsev Avraham et Sheva kivsot hadzon v'adhem. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu Torah demet v'chaye olam nata betochenu Baruch ata Adonai noten haTorah. Amen. And for the honor of the sixth Aliyah, calling up Harriet Feldman, Olivia, and Emily Pinsley. Harriet's with us, we know she is, our amazing flower delivery corps. If you've ever gotten flowers from our Bima in a time of need, it's because of people like this. Ilanit. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam. Asher Ba'abanu Mikol Amin. Natatan lanu et Torah to Baruch Ata Adonai Lotina Torah. Amen. Amen. Vayomer Avimelech El Avraham Maena Sheva Kivasot Haele Asher Hitavta Levadana. Vahayomer ki et sheva kivasot tikach miadi ba'avur tieli leida ki chafarti et haber hazot al ken kara lemakom hahu ber shava ki. Kisham nishpeu shnehem. Vayikretu 
ברית בבאר שבע, ויקום אבי מלך, ופי כל שר צבאו, וישובו אל ארץ פלישתים, ויטע אשל בבאר שבע, ויקרא שם בשם אדוני אל עולם, ויגר אברהם בארץ פלישתים ימים רבים. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת בחיי עולם נתת בצוהינו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה אמן If I could ask everyone to rise, and I want the Torah readers to stand here, and also um, particularly, so we're going to offer a Misha Berach to our Torah readers and to all the, the, uh, those who had an Aliyah. Misha Berach, Avotenu, Avraham Yitzchak, Biyakov, Yimotenu, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Valea. Dear God, may you bless these holy folks who have come to offer a blessing at the Torah. May you help the, our, our, our mivarchim, our blessers, to know that every word they utter is a word that, that strives to reach the heavens. Dear God, may your, your Torah readers know that every letter that comes out of their mouth can actually have an impact on their souls, and not only their souls, but on all of our souls. A dozen of your spiritually hungry Jews, dear God, stood up here to chant from the Torah. May we feel your abundant blessing, Holy One, and may you feel our desire to, to fulfill your wishes for us. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. Now calling up for the honor of raising and dressing the Torah, Beth Schneider and Rochelle Rosenblum. Okay, so they're going to wait right over there. We're all going to sit down, and we are going to do a Misha Berach prayer for healing before we raise the Torah, taking this moment with the power of the Torah before us. The words of the Misha Berach can be found on page 245. 245. me that we offer as the Torah is raised can be found on the bottom of 246. Let's rise.
וזאת התורה אשר שם משה לפני בני ישראל על פי אדוני ביד משה. יאללה, 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 Shout out to Beth Schneider for the first time a woman has been the Magbia, the, the grazer of the Torah. Magbia. Women, ha. other women in the community, it's your, your opportunity to step up. Of course, it's a teacher. <laughs> of course, that's right. So the Limmers will be offering the blessings before and after the Torah reading. Come on up, Shelly and Steve. We're on 247, and the Haftarah reading and translation can be found on 250. And as... Um, we are getting ready to read the Haftarah. I want to invite our Haftarah chanters, Anna Goldman, Clara Goldman, Sam Friedman, Trevor Boschnack, and Elena Eskin to come up. For anyone who has been to a bar about Mitzvah Temple Bethel over the last few years, they will be able to share with you how incredible our teens are. And I'm always amazed by their dedication, energy, and passion. I encourage all of you to come here on our Saturday morning services. Come to a bar bat mitzvah, whether you're invited or not. I'm inviting you right now. Sorry for all of those bar bat mitzvahs that are about to happen. And see firsthand how our teens are transforming the world. They are transforming the world for the better. And I am so, so proud. These are just a few of the teens that we had the bar bat mitzvahs this year. We have many more who are going to become bar bat mitzvahs this year. And many of you who have already become bar bat mitzvahs this year who are not chanting. I'm going to ask you next year to chant. So, yeah. Um, so, I am very, very inspired and happy that we have five incredible teens who are going to chant parts of our Haftarah for Rosh Hashanah morning. Page 247. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bacha Benidim Tovim. Rasab Divrahim Hanem Arin de Emet. Baruch Ata Adonai, Habocher Batorah of Moshe Avdo, of Yisrael Amo, of Invie Hamet Batzedek. Sofim lehar achraim, lishmo al tanav, ben yerocham, ben alihu, ben tohu, ben tzuch, achrati, uvlo shetei nashim, shem achat chana, veshem hashenit penina. Vayahi lifnea Yaladim Uvchana en Yaladim Vaala Haishahu Mi'ilo Malamim Yamima Lahishachatot Livoach Ladonai Tzabaot Veshaloach Vesham shenei ben ali Chachmi uframi chacha Chachonim l'adonai Vavdi hayom vayizcha el tana Menatan lifnina ishto Ulchol benea Ubnoti amanot Ulchana iten Mana achat apai Ki etchana ahes Vadonai 
Rahman Vachin Yase Shana Vishana Mide Alotai Beve Adonai Ken Tachisena Vetivre Velo Tohal Vayomerla El Kana Isha Kana La Metivri Velamelo tocheli, velame yore levaver. Halo anohi tov lach. Measara, measara, measara. Panim vetakum chana achare. Oh, oh, la vishim lo vechare shato. Veli hakohen Yoshev ala kise al mizuza he kala donai. Vehi vehi parat na apesh veti kalel al adonai uva hotivche veti dor neder. Batomar Adonai Tevaot Etra O Tire Bani Hamatecha Uzahal Tani Velo Tishkach Et Amatecha Venatata La Amasecha Zera Amashim Unatati Vladonai Koyame Hayal Umora Loya Ale Alosho Vehaye Ki Tirvata Lehi Tip Alel Tifre Adonai Veheli Shume Shome Et Biha Altitain et Amateha Lifne Bat Lial Kimeru Sihi Vehatsi Bipate Athena Vayaman Eli Vayomer Lehi Veshalom Velo he Israel, itain et she la tech, asher she al me imo, batome timcha she patecha, hein hein neha, vate lecha isha, le darecha, vate tocha ufanecha, lo hayula. page 252 and Hannah prayed saying through the eternal my heart knows joy through the eternal my horn is raised my mouth opens wide against my foes for I exult in your deliverance there is nothing holy like the eternal for there is nothing beside you and there is no rock like our God Speak no more in lofty tones. Let arrogance leave your mouths. All-knowing is the eternal God whose deeds cannot be measured. The bows of the mighty are broken while those who falter find strength. Those who were full sell themselves for bread and the hungry hunger no more. The one who is barren bears seven and the mother of many is bereaved. The eternal is the maker of death and life, sets down, takes down to Sheol and brings back up. The eternal makes poverty and wealth, 
casts low and raises aloft, lifts the poor from the dust, causes the needy to rise from dung heaps and dwell among princes, and then places them on thrones of honor. For the pillars of the earth belong to the eternal, who founded the world upon them, who watches over the steps of the faithful while turning evildoers silent in the darkness. For not by power shall a human being prevail. The eternal shatters foes, thunders against them in the heavens, the eternal judges of the earth from end to end. So may God give strength to the sovereign and raise high the horn of God's anointed. We continue on page 259. Baruch Elohenu Sor kol olamim, sadik v'chol hadarot, ha'el ha'neman ha'omer v'yoseh ha'medaber u'mekayim shakod z'varav emet b'tzedek. Al ha'torah v'al ha'vodah v'al ha'nevi'im v'al yom ha'zikaron ha'zeh. Shanatat ha'lanu Adonai Eloheinu v'chavoru tifaret. Al ha'kol Adonai Eloheinu anachnu modim lach. Umivarachi motach, yet barach shimcha bufi kol chai tamid le lam baed, revaracha emed vakayam la ad. Barucha taudunai, melech al kol haretz, makadesh yisrael, vayom hazikaron. This is the moment where you get comfortable. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Sara I am Sarah sitting at the entrance to my tent you read this morning in your Torah scroll of my miraculous fertility in old age, the moment of Isaac's birth. But I think you forgot what came before. I was just a girl when we left the city of Ur. Abraham and I heading for Haran. Can you imagine the heat, the dust, the dangers of that 600 mile trek from Iraq to Syria? But we were young, the light in my tent always lit my legendary challah, always warm. And so the souls gathered round to bask in our light. But we were not to stay in Haran. Lech lecha, said the voice to my husband, and so we left again and changed our names. Avram became Avraham, and I, Sarai, became Sarah. But we were a people of faith, nothing too great for us to undertake as we headed for that promised land. But would I had left if I had known what was to come? The fear of Pharaoh's touch, the fire of Sodom and Gomorrah, captivity in Avimelech's home, 
My honor has worn thin as the threads of my open tent door. My life isn't everything that had been promised when we set out on the way. For so many years, my tent was silent. No child's laughter, no sound, save for the cry of my broken heart. And so I ask, where is God? Let's leave Sarah now and zoom ahead a few millennia. As a 21st century reform American rabbi, there are so many subjects I might address from this high holiday pulpit. Anti-Semitism, the state of our country and its democracy, immigration, the rights of the oppressed, the rise of nationalism, the environment, Israel, hashtag me too, gender, money, but what about God? Nah, too illicit, too personal, too irrelevant. Yes, we read many prayers today, but we are reformed Jews, allowed room for doubt, allowed to question God's very existence and the obligations that a relationship with God might impose. Don't you know, Rabbi, I'm not religious. <sighs> A gust of desert wind rushes in through Sarah's open door, and the flame in her lamp goes out. Her question now hangs in the air of that ever-darkening tent. And indeed, Sarah's question, that question about faith, is our own. As individuals, as Jews, as Americans, and as human beings, we sit at the entrance to the tent of this new year, holding the many unknowns of our lives. So much has shifted beneath our feet. There's so much at stake. On what can we rely? On whom can we have faith? As we face this new year, 5780, where is God? Sarah, can you hear me as I call to you across the centuries? The answer to your question begins in the dark. Three weeks ago, an Israeli man, Eliyahu Yablonek, stood before a small gathering in our wooden chapel it was late Saturday afternoon, and the room in the light was dim. But Eliyahu wore sunglasses. With his seeing eye dog, Glenn, resting at his feet, Eli told us his story. It's 1973, the Sinai Desert, a prolonged battle with 30 Egyptian tanks, when Eli, a tank commander, is hit by shrapnel from two enemy missiles, and his unit almost completely destroyed. He wakes up in a hospital bed, unable to see, barely able to speak, but he can hear his mother's voice. She's a doctor who moved to Israel after surviving the siege of Leningrad. Lying in his hospital bed, Ellie whispers only one request of his mom, that she tell him the truth. And so she does. He's lost his left arm and will never see again. Like Sarah's tent, the world of this blind, maimed soldier had gone dark. Upstairs in the Rudin Chapel, Elia Blonick spoke about his journey forward, step by step from that hospital bed, about his life as a businessman, properties he developed, his wife and children, the lifeline of the seeing eye dogs who have accompanied him throughout the years, and about his bicycling. Yeah, you heard right. Imagine this. Thanks to the organization Ken Below, 
What began as just a few bicycling partner enthusiasts has now become some 170 people who head out each weekend all over Israel, both on and off road. Half of them, that's about 85 cyclists, are blind. For the past 13 years, Ellie has been biking in tandem with Ami Vardi, who was also present in the Rudin Chapel with us that evening. Where is God? Speaking through the prophet Isaiah, God answers, Imo anochi b'tzarat. In all their affliction, I am afflicted. Ani shutaf b'tzaran. I am a partner in their pain. In a tandem bicycle partnership, the rider in front controls the handlebars, but both cyclists are the engine. Both share the sweat, the exertion, the weight of the ride. If the bike should hit gravel and swerve off the road, both cyclists go down. Yet Shabbat after Shabbat, 85 cyclists with sight come back to ride. Many of them are young people with short weekends, careers, and families, but they want to be close to the energy, the synergy, the divinity that happens on these tandem rides. When we suffer, we ask, where is God? But perhaps there is another question at play. The single most important book that set me on a path to the rabbinate is this one by Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. I read it in confirmation, or parts of it. It's called God in Search of Man. The question that the Holy One whispers back to us is, where are you? In the Jewish psyche, Jewish text and philosophy, the most essential and empowering question is not, when will God show up, but rather, when will I? To what am I called? What is my duty, my response to pain? We Jews call these duties mitzvot the ethical and ritual acts that are the pedal strokes, the gear shifts, the wheel turns of our tandem ride, the Jewish response to despair. Anishutaf b'tzaran, God awaits our partnership. 46 years ago, as he lay in his hospital bed, having heard the hard, unshakable truth of his prognosis, Eli Yablonak was overcome by sorrow. It was then that his mother, a totally secular Jew, gave him this piece of Torah. If you need to cry, my son, that's okay. But do so at night into your pillow. Face the morning with a smile. As Jews, we b bring our strength as healers, pedal turners, and flame kindlers to our identity as Americans. This is about far more than our level of education, our success, or our status as American Jews. It is about the vision that we bring to the table. In this is our truest loyalty. Ted Sorensen, a nice Jewish boy from Lincoln, Nebraska, was President John F. Kennedy's speechwriter, a man whom JFK called his intellectual blood bank. To this day, the debate remains as to who actually penned those famous final lines of Kennedy's 1961 inaugural address. Was it the president, his Jewish advisor, or maybe some blend of the two? Perhaps it matters not. Listen to these selected phrases from John F. Kennedy's mouth, but perceive in them the warm glow of Sarah's desert candles, of Eli Yablonek's morning smile, and hear in these words the echo of the shofar. 
quote, the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. The trumpet summons us again. The energy, faith, and devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. The glow from a fire that can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your... <laughs> you fill in the blank. As Jews, how do we respond when our faith falters, when our home, our job, our nation, our world grows dark around us? We find a tandem partnership wherever we can with all of its imperfections and risks, and we embrace the ride. We kindle flame. Let's return to Sarah. So, as I mentioned, I went from Ur to Haran and then into captivity in Avimelech's home. But my life, my life was not all that I had hoped it would be. My beauty, it had become a liability. And after all those promises from God that we would have descendants as numerous as the stars and as grains of sand on the seashore, I remained barren for so many years. Where was God? And then... For some reason I didn't understand, uh, Avimelech let me go. And just as I was walking away from his house, I heard a cry. And it suddenly struck me that the plague of barrenness, an affliction that I thought was mine alone, had afflicted his entire home. And I could have laughed, vindicated. But for some reason, I prayed, Abraham and I, that he would be blessed with children and everyone in his home. Vayira pe Elohim et Avimelech et ishto. And God healed Avimelech and his wife and his household. Sarah's is not a passive faith, not a Pollyanna, all will be fine faith. Hers is not a pray and you'll get what you want faith. But the spiritual power of Sarah's prayer at the very hour, the very moment of her own need cannot be denied. And Sarah returned home, was set free. Eli Ablonik said that for him, nothing can match the feeling of being on the open road, the hum of the tires, the wind on his face, the smells of nature, balancing the bicycle frame with his unseen partner. With Ami by his side, Eli has now trained himself to row, to swim, even to ski. And he's not alone. The experience of cycling in tandem has brought many blind, formerly homebound people back to life. Where is God? In the effort, the prayers, the leaps of faith that we offer up to this world with no guarantees. God is in a life of mitzvah, in the light that we shine outward, even in our own hour of darkness, our own hours of need. If you need to cry, it's okay. But face the morning with a smile. Being a Jew demands no less.
your tent light, facing the morning with a smile. It was you who made space for me to visit. And God did for Sarah as he had spoken. Eli Yablanak remains blind. He has only one arm, but his healing has begun. Okay, moving away from the ancient mysticism of Sarah's tent and from the drama of a Sinai desert tank battle, back to Great Neck, my life. A story about each of my children, I'll be brief, I promise, humor me. But in their lives is my Torah. Just over a week ago, it's Friday, much still to prepare for the new year, the Shabbat shopping and sermonizing still undone. We Feldmans begin our day. I wave to our daughter as she heads off down the driveway, knowing that a physics quiz and a math test await. Good luck. Then about 40 minutes later, my laptop and coffee reverie is disturbed by a text from my daughter at school. Wait, I thought she didn't have Wi-Fi. <clears throat> I read these words. Ema, I'm between classes. I know it's illogical. I have a test today. But I think I changed my mind. I need to go to the climate strike in Manhattan. It's my duty. And so I pick her up, her duty becoming my own. Another mother, whose son also attended the strike, shared with me her response when the person in charge of attendance at Great Neck South asked what necessitated his early dismissal from school. What was the nature of her son's appointment? She answered, he has an appointment with his conscience. Another story, an ocean apart, but bound together by the same theme. A few days ago, or nights, our 17-year-old son calls from Israel. It's 2.30 in the morning. Not the call you want to get. But he's elated, flying high. A senior in high school, he's just had his Savri Shon with the Israeli Defense Forces. It's an interview in which the IDF tries to determine aptitudes, skill sets, etc. He was calling us in the middle of the night because he got his scores back and he did well. Of course, phew, music to our parental ears. But after hanging up and in the hours and days since, I've been thinking about the significance of this moment for our son. These scores are less about his personal, academic, future success, but rather they are about how the IDF deems he can contribute. Herein, I believe, rests the kernel of his joy, and maybe of our own. It's about service. It's about what we can give. Where is God as we enter this new year? No. God is not standing still, looking down, recording our de deeds, serene and immune on the hilltop. No. The Holy One is in our response to duty, in the sweat and danger of giving. For there is no trip in this life that is not a tandem ride. God was in the 250,000 fellow marchers, most of them young, who showed up at Battery Park two Fridays ago, and is in the courage of those who step up, even at great personal and political risk, in this moment of national disequilibrium. I could choose another word. God is in all the appointments with our conscience that we keep, in the risk taken by a blind, secular Israeli bicyclist who pedals forward anyway. And in the hands of a biker with sight who loses balance for a moment and holds the handlebars steady, most of all, God is in the spark that binds those two bicyclists together, in the union of their effort, in the very metal frame that connects them. Ani shutaf b'saran, 
God is searching for us, awaiting our partnership, and can be heard in the shofar call of our own hearts, in the voices of our children who seek the truth and then choose action over cynicism or despair. God is present with all who kindle flames. We closed our session with Eli Yablonak standing in a circle up in the Rudin Chapel, holding high the Havdalah candle, wicks bound together, celebrating the vision of a man whose eyes can see no
adults have salad for dinner. This is a brand new program. We'd like it to continue. Outside in the lobby, Brotherhood put up a poster board with some of the many thank yous we've gotten from the families who depend upon the food pantry. Underneath the poster board is a box. It says, High Holiday Food Drive. Two years ago, 70 families of this congregation put checks in that box. Last year, 86 families put checks in the box sufficient to balance the $10,000 matching grant. So we thank you in advance for your support. 100% of your donations will go to buy food for the less fortunate of great men. And on behalf of our president, Matthew Motion, we want to wish everyone a happy and a healthy new year. Thank you. <laughs> If you, if, if you wonder what the, what the Brotherhood dues check it, uh, option is on your dues statement, this is, this is the work that they're doing, one piece of it. So thank you a ton if, you've, if you're a member of the Brotherhood. And if you're not, it's a good time to, to become a member of the Brotherhood. The shofar is a call to action, much like the two calls to action that we just heard. And we'll turn in our prayer books to page 267 and rise. Page 267. God of remembrance, remember the covenant of our ancestors. We reaffirm it today. Remember, we are a people of noble ideals. Help us attain them. Remember all your people, all the nations on the road to peace. Bless their efforts. Remember with mercy the binding of Isaac, the sorrow of Sarah, Abraham's words, here I am. Our memory fades, but you remember all that we have forgotten. Your presence is a throne where all things matter and nothing is lost. Together, Baruch Ata Adonai, Zoher Habrit, Blessed, Blessed are, are you, Adonai. Adonai. You remember the covenant. You remember us. Take ye us. Shivarim Take ye Arashet sefatenu yerav lefanecha el ram benisa. Arashet sefatenu yerav lefanecha el ram benisa. Mevin mazin ma bitumak shiv lekol kol tekiatenu. Mevinu mazin ma bitu makshib lekol kol tekiyatenu Utkabel berachamim, berachamim uvratzon Seder, seder, zichronotenu Page 270 Eternal Presence, who blessed our mothers and fathers, bless this holy congregation, a house of study, prayer, and righteous deeds. Together we give thanks for our leaders, those who learn, teach, and uphold the Torah, inspiring others to learn, teach, and uphold the Torah. 
those who do the sacred work of building our community. May their service bring them joy, fulfillment, and purpose. And may they go from strength to strength. For our members, diverse in age, interest, and background, choose, choose by, by birth, birth choose, choose by, by choice, choice, and, and those, those of other faiths who join, who join with us, us. All who offer their, their time and talents, their, their love and commitment. For all, for all who come here on this holy day of Rosh Hashanah to share the search for meaning and renewal, your presence is a blessing, your friendship a gift. May the spirit of peace, dignity, and respect live within these walls, inspiring us to care for one another with compassion. And may we be a source of goodness, light, and healing for the world. May the one who blessed the generations before us bless us as we stand together this day. One congregation joined with all Jewish communities of the world through our prayers on this festival of the new year. Let us renew ourselves for the year ahead. Let us honor the precious legacy that is ours. While your spirits may remain standing, why don't you let your bodies rest for a moment? We turn to the prayer for our nation, 272. A few personal words. First of all, I'm very honored to, re to read this special prayer today. For many years on the High Holy Days, our congregation has been reading this prayer or earlier versions of it. This year, its words take on a very special meaning. As I read the prayer, I ask that you join me in reading aloud the italicized words. God of holiness, we hear your message. God of freedom, we hear your charge. Proclaim liberty throughout the land. Inspire us through your teachings and commandments to love and uphold our precious democracy. Let every citizen take responsibility for the rights and freedoms we cherish. Let each of us be an advocate for justice and activist for liberty a defender of dignity, and let us champion the values that make our nation a haven of the per per persecuted, a beacon of hope among the nations. May our actions reflect compassion for all people within our borders and abroad. May our leaders and officials embody the vision of our founders to, to form a more perfect, perfect union establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We pray for courage and conscience as we aim to support our country's highest values and aspirations, the hard-won rights that define us as a people, the responsibilities that they entail, we pray for all who serve our country with selfless devotion in peace and in war, from fields of battle to clinics and classrooms, from government to the grassroots, all those whose noble deeds and sacrifice benefit our nation and our world. We are grateful for the rights of life, life liberty, and the pursuit, pursuit of happiness. happiness that our founders ascribe to you, our creator. We we pray for their wisdom and moral strength that we may be guardians of the, these rights for ourselves and for the sake of all people now and forever. Amen. Amen. If you are able to, please rise. While the storm clouds gather all across the sea, 
let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Establish a home for my people Israel and will plant them firm so that they shall dwell secure and shall tremble no more. 275. I will give you safety from all your enemies. Source of our people's liberation, whose home is the human heart. Give us strength and shelter to the state of Israel to the state of Israel and its people and to Zionists and Zion's friends in all countries. With love nourish the sapling of the land and preserve its growth. Bless the seeds of democracy planted by courageous pioneers. Bring to flower a good society. Root in history and in hope, made holy by its unceasing pursuit of justice, made strong by its vision of equality and human dignity. Let sweetness overwhelm sorrow, joy overcome despair. Rock and redeemer, May the words of the prophet be fulfilled. Nations shall not lift up swords against nations. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Sources of peace, we pray for oasis of peace, a source, a home secure and safe, a wellspring of shalom and for Israel and its people and its neighbors. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. So, a few announcements. Tashlich this afternoon, throwing our bread upon the waters, 3 p.m. at Stepping Stone. It's always wonderful. Please come. Tomorrow, second day Rosh Hashanah services, 10 a.m. up in the Rudin Garden. It's beautiful, it's Hamish, it's interactive, and we're having an added element this year of, we'll have um, all the prayer, many of the prayers will be signed with sign language. We are opening this experience to anyone from the community and anyone who has hearing impairment of any sort. And at the end, there'll be the opportunity for any deaf participants to actually touch the Torah as it's blown in order to feel the vibration. Um, so please encourage anyone you know to come. There's a big kiddish lunch afterward, open to all. This Sunday, October 6th, a memorial service at Beth Moses Cemetery, 11 a.m., meeting Cantor Vlad and me there. And as you heard, we're continuing our greening efforts. Please, one bag per family, pick one up on your way out. Um, we are really a leader in faith communities on Long Island seeking to align our daily actions 
with the stewardship of the planet. And again, of course, writing those checks to Temple Beth El indicating food pantry will enable us to feed our hungry neighbors. Yom Kippur, uh, try to stay all day, plan to stay all day, uh, as, as we've done for many, many years, long preceding us with, uh, under Rabbi Davidson, the chapel meditations, there'll be six of them in the chapel starting 1.30. Uh, and that'll be followed immediately by our, our Torah service, afternoon, Yisker, with Rabbi Davidson, will be here speaking, will be blessed by his, his uh, wonderful Yisker talk. Um, and uh, Then there'll be a Torah service for our afternoon and reflections from a number of the women who I was lucky enough to travel to Israel with this summer. Then Ne'ila. And our closing service, Ne'ila, will begin at 4.30. Uh, and as we, as we mentioned um, last night, opportunity to be close to stand in front of the Torah, your in, as individual or family, and take a moment to be, to be close to, in, in whatever ways that, that really can, can touch our souls. Uh, Havdalah, we'll, we'll make Havdalah at about 6.30, 6.35. And I want to offer a, a huge thank you again to our Bema sitters. Rabbi Mulbaum, your sermon last night was so powerful and moving and deep, and thank you. Ron, president, brother, friend, teacher, it's a blessing. Frank, uh, amazing. So many things, to, so many reasons to feel grateful. Gary, it's uh, what a blessing to see you holding the Torah. I'm looking forward next year to you reading from the Torah and uh, as president, future president. It comes president. in through osmosis. You've been holding it for so long, it'll it's be true. really easy. It's true. Um, that was a subtle hint on my part, wasn't it? Subtle. Okay. So in response to your feedback, we're all starving. We're not going to name every name for thank yous. Um, but what we are going to do is try this this year. We're going to speak to the various groups. And if you are in one of those groups that we mention, we're going to invite you to stand and then remain standing as we go through each of the groups because we want to see your beautiful faces. So he's probably hiding. But um, our maintenance staff, led by Jonathan Muniz, is he here? He's working. Our incredible staff, please. <laughs> well, if you see the one of them, the building looks incredible, hello. doesn't it? Yeah. So. What is that called? Uh, jazz hands. Jazz okay. Hands. okay. But let's hold our applause to the end. That'll that'll make lunch sooner. Okay. There is um, our executive director, Stu Botwinick, is has an aliyah in his in his home community. There is nothing good that happens in this building that he is not a part of. Incredible. Um, and we are so delighted. Uh, a new member of our staff, Jackie McCabe. Are you here? Our director of congregational engagement. Wave, Jackie. She's in the back. Get to know her. Uh, standing right next. Oh, no. Is that David? Yeah. David and Sarah. Amazing. David Wolf and Sarah Gottlieb. Okay. So this is where you start doing the stand-up thing. If out there waiting for you to all those volunteers who help in the office day in and day out and then especially on these high holidays please stand and to our small but mighty archival teams we've been going through the archives and there's a lot to say about those things that well, you'll be getting some exciting announcements there painstaking work um, for all those who've been working on the improvement of our physical plant its security and renovations if you've had a knee replacement, you do not have to stand, but you can. All right. And those who work on our outdoor gardens, visioning and weeding and planting, thank you, thank you. To those that work to beautify our flowers on the inside, our Judaica shop, John, and our high holiday volunteer dynamic duo, you know who you are. Thank you for keeping us moving along to uh, the incredible voices, the angels that guide us from above, and AJ, who somehow knows what to do without seeing anything. Amazing. 
Can you hear us? Let's applaud for everyone. Okay, we now are going to return the Torah to the Ark and move to Alenu and Kaddish 276. Please rise. Yeah, hallelujah, Shem Adonai, Kin is Gav Shem Olevado. Continue with Etz Chaim on page 277. Aleinu Lishabeach Ladon Hakol, La Tate Gidula, Yotzer Breshit, Shalos Anaki Goyara Zot, Velos Amanu Kimish Behot Hadama, Shalos Am Helkenu Kahem, Vegor Aleinu Kehol Hamon Ham. No.
we remain standing and turn to page 292, we know especially at our seasons of celebration, there are people missing from our tables, people whose memories we hold dear. So if you're remembering someone, I invite you to bring them into your heart and your mind as we join together on page 292 with Kadish Yatom. It gadal v'it kadash shemei rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'amlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye dechol beit Yisrael v'agala v'izman kariv v'imru amen. Yehe shmei rabba mevarach le'alam ulalme almaya it barach v'it tabach v'it pa'ar v'it romam v'it nase. Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kudisha, Brihu, Le Ela Ula Ela, Miko, Birhata, Vishirata, Tush Behata, Venechemata, Damiran, Be Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama, Rabba, Min Shamaya, Vehaim, Alenu, Vel, Ko, Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Mimromav. Hu ya ase shalom, alenu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru, amen. We pray that the one who creates peace and harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel and to the world. And together we say, amen. amen. We turn now to page 284 for our third and final shofar service, page 284. If there are any children in the room that want to come a little closer, now's the time. We have all these stairs down here. No pressure. You can hear from the back. Join me in the blessing at the top of the page. Baruch Ata Adonai, Shomea Kol Truat Amo Yisrael, Barach Amim. Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people, Israel. Take me up. Shevarim Arashet sefatenu yerav lefanecha el ram venisa. Arashet sefatenu yerav lefanecha el ram venisa. Mevinu mazin ma bitu makshiv lekol lekol tekiatenu. Mevinu mazin. Your only job is to say amen. Strengthen us on this day. Amen. Bless us today. Amen. Lift up our lives on this day. Amen. Grant us goodness today. Amen. Inscribe us for a good life on this day. Amen. Hear our heartfelt words today. Amen. On this day, receive our prayers with love. Amen. Amen. Fortify our best, best intentions. intentions. May we go forth today. To the righteous, righteous work. work. Amen. Lishana Tova, everyone. <laughs> Lishana Tova.
Shana Tova Shana Tova Shana Tova 